So let me get all this to that point and I'll meet you back here to talk about the ruffle. Okay, yay, there she is in all her glory. This is how the facing looks. She's done. Okay, so let's talk about this ruffle. The ruffle in the pattern is actually the very last two steps, which I didn't really see the point of that. Um, especially since the bottom of the skirt is already done. So let's just go ahead and get the ruffle. Let's just get that out of the way now because this sleeve is going to be something else. Um, so while these are flat, this is my little hem tip that I give in every so along that I do, but I'll take the flat ruffle and I will go it to my iron and I will go ahead and press up the seam allowance. Pressing up to the five eighths and then again up to the one and a quarter. So I'll do that flat on all of these pieces. I'm not actually gonna sew them down yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and do like a pre-press. Um, to get them nice and crisp. And then after I sew my vertical seams, then I'll come in and actually stitch down the hem. We could already do the gathering seams too. I don't see why not. So um, press up your hem, put in your two rows of gathering stitches, do your vertical seams, stitch the hem. Okay, so lots of work to be done here um, and at the iron and at the machine. So just get after it. And one side will be anchored once we do our vertical stitches. So you just rinse and repeat that on all three panels and then sew them however you're finishing your seams. I'm gonna do French seams on mine. Um, and then I'll meet you back to show you how to attach it to the skirt. Jump scare. <laughs> you guys are still watching the same sew along, even though what is happening, right? We went from flowers to animal print. Well, I made the worst error you can make as a YouTuber and I thought I was filming and I wasn't. So my dress um, is done. The, the the ruffle is completely done. Like I sewed the whole thing up, thought I was filming and I wasn't. So I decided, you know what? When life gives you lemons, make lemonade and, or make the same exact pattern in, you know, some really fun print. Um, I actually don't have enough to make the whole bodice. So this is gonna be a skirt. So it'll be a lot of fun. Anyways, bear with me. It's been a day, okay? If I told you all the things that went wrong during this so along specifically, you would be shocked. It all, when it rains, it pours, right? Okay, but um, some things to note. One, um, you will have a center back seam, okay? You'll have one on yours. I don't have one on mine, but you will have one. Um, and then you will not have a center front seam, okay? <laughs> Can you tell? I'm just trying to make it work. So according to the pattern, we are going to line up our, one of our, um, one of our ruffle, seams, your ruffle should be completely hemmed and you should have your gathering stitches at the top. And we are gonna line up one of these vertical seams with the center back of our dress. And they're gonna go right sides together. So one of them goes on here like this. And if you guys are sewing like normal and not doing French seams, oh yeah, I did French seams on this one too, don't you worry. Um, you are gonna do them right sides together like this. And then there are actually, um, there's a dot on your center, what is it called? Front side, side front, side piece. <laughs> um, this little dot right here at the hem, that is where the other two vertical seams of the ruffle go. So I marked those with a little notch right there, okay? So that's one notch and that is gonna be matched up with my other vertical seam of the ruffle, like so. And then the third one, as you come around, will be on the other side piece right here. Okay, so that's where this vertical seam goes. It looks like we're gathering up about 12 inches into each section, but I do love how they do it this way. They break it into three. They make it totally manageable. Um, that pin must have been hit by a machine needle. Okay. 
So um, they've broken it up into three. So it's just like a lot more manageable to get your head around all of this gathering. So you have this whole big piece here and this is your bodice. I'm sorry, this is the top part of your skirt. This has to fit into here. So you come over to where your gathering stitches are. You pull up your basting stitches. So grab your um, bobbin threads, pull up your gathers like so, and all you have to worry about doing is gathering this one section, one third of your ruffle and your skirt. So you're pulling it up until they're a roughly one to one. And I will pull all of these to one side like this. I mean, maybe a little bit more. Where are they? All of these to one side like so. Okay, that feels pretty good. And then I'll take those threads, those bobbin threads, and I'll start wrapping them around this pin just to hold and anchor that in place because we're gonna be doing some more finagling with this piece and I don't want it to get stretched out. I don't want to lose any of the gathers that I put in. So I just wrap it around like a figure eight a couple times and now that's locked in place. So now I can focus solely on spreading out these gathers and making sure they are distributed evenly throughout this skirt. So I'll do like a little bit and then Make sure that the dress is nice and like taut and then I'll put in a pin. And then I'll do a couple more inches of the gather. Making sure it's just as even as the last part and then I'll put in a pin. And you just go around all the way until you get all three sections completely gathered up into each, other, into each other, go to the machine, serge around it at your five, or sew around it at your five eighths inch seam allowance, and then finish your seams however you normally would, and ta-da, with the help of YouTube, you have a finished ruffle and skirt combo. Told you I had done it. Um, so this is what it looks like on the inside. You come in here and you pull out your uh, basting threads. This one was easy to do because I used that orange thread. I don't always do that, but sometimes. And um, yeah, just come in here and clip your threads. Then we have basically a sleeveless dress, okay? And the next video will be our last video of the sewing where we will work on these super, super fun sleeves. Pray for me that they go smoother than today's video did. Um, but it is really, really cute. You should be able to try the whole thing on now. Be a little careful that you're not stretching out your arm size, but you should be able to try the whole thing on, get an idea of the length um, of the full fit. And then the sleeves are just the icing on the cake. All right, so that's it for today. Good luck with your ruffles. Um, you don't have the added element of filming, so you should be just fine. Um, and I'll see you all very soon.